which we have sinned against you. I and my father's house have sinned. We have acted very corruptly against you. We have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the ordinances which you have commanded your servant. And we're asking God that you would cause your name to dwell in this city and in this nation once more, that you would gather your people together and forgive our prayers and forgive our sins. They are your servants and your people whom you have redeemed by your great power and by your strong hand. And we thank you, God, that you are about to redeem America. You are about to forgive us, Lord, for our many injustices and inequities. You are about to move across our nation, O oh God, with glory and with power. You are coming, O oh God. And we pray in the name of Jesus that you would lift up your voice and that your, your glory would cover America as the waters cover the sea. We're saying, let the name of Jesus be exalted so that all men would come unto you, that there would be a great returning of your church, and there would be a great harvest of those who need to know you, that they would come, Lord, and that the great inequities and injustices and all the sins and, and all the things of the land that are a blight before you, O oh God, that they would be turned back, and that America would turn to you once again, and we would renew the covenant that we had with you from the very beginning, even the Mayflower Compact of 400 years ago. Oh God, that we would come back and we would return to you. And your call is to us. You say, return, return to me with all of your heart. And Lord, we pray that we would rise up in this hour and that we would return. We would return. We beg of you. We ask you, oh God, we repent. Our hearts are broken before you. Would you come now and heal our nation in the name of Jesus? Amen.